Money, sir. Um, let's pray. Our Father, we thank you so much this morning. We want to glorify your name. Hallelujah. We want to exalt you because of your love and because of your mercy. Thank you, God. So the opportunity we have uh, to come to pray again, we're asking of the Lord in the name of Jesus that mm. you take the glory, take all the honor, adoration in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we'll go into the prayer this morning. We ask that you will have your way and take absolute control. We pray, O oh Lord, that you continue to deliver us from temptation, deliver us from evil and all the plans of the enemies in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Answered. In Thank Jesus' you, name, we are praying. Amen. Um, I, want to, I want to quickly uh, share a testimony. Because uh, it has to do with what happened to me last night. Mm. <laughs> I after it's it was almost um, I just finished from the from the kitchen. I was trying to prepare dinner for my family. So by the time I was done, just about thirty minutes to nine, and I knew that it was already time, almost time. So I needed to prepare myself before the time. So I quickly ran into the master bedroom and. Then I realized I needed to pick a stew. Instead of picking the chair that I normally use sometimes in the master bedroom. So I came back to the city room to pick this stew. So I have one of the young sisters who, is, who has been with us for some time. So she was in the city room and I was putting on just bossa and my, I was not putting on any singlet, nothing. So, but because she was not facing my direction, so I wanted to quickly pick the stew before she would look back, I would have entered master bedroom. So I was in a hurry. So as soon as I picked the stew, by the time I turned, because I turned with force to enter master bedroom, I didn't look well. I used my forehead to hit the wall. And wow. the, sound, the sound was terrible. You hear, boo! So before I knew it immediately like this, immediately my head was coming up, coming up like this. Wow. So, and uh, till this morning, it's still very solo, still very big because we have to press and press and press. I use uh, So my head started aching me last night and so I had to tell Pastor Sheikh, but I can't leave for you again. So that my head is loving me. Then... Uh, Oh, I woke up this morning and I saw something. Uh, many times I see things and they, and I realize that they are not able to undo me in all the various revelations, all the various things I've been saying. So sometimes I'll just wake up and tell my wife, let us pray. Let's go. For this last night, oh, what I saw, that was when Anna knew that what the enemy meant was death, not even what I experienced. Because for what I saw this midnight, I mean, early hour of this morning, it was not funny at all. So I just discovered that this was like when they assign someone to just kill you with gun and all that. So the case was a case of Saul and David. In all the that, and it's like a war broke out. But in all that, I escaped. There was no issue. There was no hurt. So when I, I woke up... I see what I saw. See, 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 see. Does that mean that this injury was intending to be something else before or what? Now, but look at what I just saw now and all of that. That even the way I escaped, self is even miraculous because I would have been shot, but no way. No bullet even touched me. Nothing. And yeah. it was miraculous. So yeah. I knew that yeah, maybe that yeah. thing last night probably was not ordinary. So we want to give thanks to God for his mighty deliverance over our lives. Father, we worship you. My Lord, the King, we bless you. We thank you for your son. We thank you for your hand upon him. We exalt your name, O Lord, for this testimony. We worship and bless your name. 
We say glory, honor, and joy. So thanks be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. We appreciate you. Lord, we thank you for how you are fighting our battles, even unknowingly to us. It is good to us. It is what to make us know that we know. Because of this, that we don't even know. We are taught you, Lord. And all these courts, and all these uh, men, and all these women, you did not ask the enemy that to rejoice over us. You did not ask upon our families. We thank you for the of Paul Pastor, your me and his wife and children. We are sure that you for the victory you gave him. For your me, that injury on the edge. That on the edge. But I will pray that your mighty hand will rest upon it. And in his let all his effect all away from him, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, deliver your son, O Lord, and rest your God in my dream. Let your heart under your perfect. In, in the name of Jesus, Father, we are continuing to do great things in our lives. Continue to do great things in our lives. Continue to do great things in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Just oh, no, the Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, uh, going to battle and warfare for our family, warfare and battle for our family, warfare, battle for our family. In Deuteronomy chapter 2, and the Lord said to the children of Israel in Deuteronomy 2 24, Rise ye up. Now, before I say this, it was in November last year when I was to go for my mother in law burial, uh, a day before that uh, our traveling down, because I had already made up my mind, I will be driving down to the village. And then I saw that in that revelation, in that uh, uh, this, it told me, that is a day before. So by virtue of what I saw, like somebody losing wife, losing children and all that, uh -uh, what kind of thing is this one? So I decided to wait on the Lord that Thursday. So to cancel all of the plans of the enemy, then we went to the village. That night, that same night, as we slept, and they were telling them in the morning devotion, the black cat, I fought again, and the other cat was dealt with. Then eventually, uh, we were told of somebody who died, who was coming back from that area, had an accident and died. The same thing by cycle that I saw and all that, the same kind of thing I saw, and it was towards my family, this was by cycle the person was driving. Now, just last week here, I'm trying to tell us how the devil does not rest. He does not rest. Just last week here, my own friend, like a covenant friend, we are very intimate. We've been friends for more than 18 years. For, I mean, from very young, we went to the same secondary school, the same class and all that. And he's a, he's a Christian brother. So he was praying last week. He was on program. So he was praying. All of a sudden, the Lord revealed to him, he has to suspend the prayer and quickly call me to be sure that I'm fine. Because what he saw, he shared with me. Then I told him something. So me, I have always understood that the devil is not happy with me. I have always known that. It's one of the things where I'm even careful with my life. Careful about if you're sin or whatever, because I know that the enemies are not happy with me. I know that. I have always known that. Because by virtue of what I see, I know that. Many people think that life is battle. It's a many things that people suffer that they call will of God. They are not will of God anything. They are simply battle against their destiny and future. Look at it here in Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 24. The Bible says, Rise ye up, take your journey, and pass over river Amnon. Behold, I have given into your hands Sion the Amorite, king of Exbon, and his land. Listen to this. Begin to possess it and 
contend with him in battle. Can, can you imagine that? He said, I have given. Uh -uh. He said, rise up. He said, take your journey. Pass over here. Go here. Go here. I have given this to you. In other words, it is not automatic. But he's telling you here that it is not automatic. If you have read through all of these places in the Bible, I have, I've gone through them recently and I've finished them all. You know, going to all of those uh, Deuteronomy judges and uh, and uh, as I went through those scriptures and I saw serious battles. I mean, it was a battle. At a point, even the children of Israel will have to like, ah, uh -uh, these people are strong. They are really, really strong. And they will have to cry to God to deliver them. They will have to beg God. So here, yeah, God was saying, I've given you the king of Amorite. I've given you this. Now, I have given you does not mean automatically you will just dispossess him. No. You still have a part to play. And that part to play is that, oh, you rise up now and contend with him in battle. Because it's not going to be something automatic. That contending with him in battle is what we now translate into prayer. We are not going to be fighting physical battle. But it is now to engage them in, in prayer. That's why this very morning, uh, we are going to be engaging some situation in our family in prayer. And we trust the Lord that as many that are against our family, powers, agent, personality, if God will have to destroy them or kill them or whatever God wants to do with them so that we can make our journey and our progress to the promised land, to where God has the designated and planned for all. So be it, it's in his hand. And so we are told here that we need to battle. For me, let me adore. For me, lagbara, o baba. For me, let me adore. Koma, shere, mi lo ju ogo. For me, let me adore. For me, let me adore. Oh, <laughs> Father God, in the name of Jesus. Against all the forces, all the powers of the enemies, oh God. my father God that said no that is she's not going to see the light of the day almighty God arise this morning let personality begin to crumble now let Damn. them begin to crumble Damn. now in the mighty name of Jesus amen amen, amen. 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 Now, now, now we want to make a journey quickly you remember that story as the children of Israel were coming from the, from the land of Egypt you remember they sent a message to Bela. They said, please, just allow us to pass through. We are not coming to touch anything. You remember that story? And they said, no, we won't touch any of your property. We won't touch any of your corn. We won't even touch anything. It's just for us to pass your border and then so that we can make our journey. Job by and they were polite enough. We're not fighting you. We're not anything. But the devil don't want to hear that. 
All this one that say we don't believe in fighting battle. We don't believe in playing warfare prayer. <laughs> they will get injured. They will get injured. The devil does not pity anybody. If you don't want to fight, they will fight you. That's why it is better to be on the offensive side and not defensive side. We want to pray right now. Every power that wants to stop the rising of our children. God in heaven will stop them. Every power that wants to stop the rising of my children and say, oh no, they will not rise. Oh, they will not be a star. Oh, they will not go forward. Oh, they will not be born again. Oh, they will not rise in life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's stop. Every power that wants to rise against me, against my woman, against my children, against my Psalm 127, verse 4. It talks about children being an arrow. It said they are like arrow in the hand of a warrior. So mm. are the children in one's you. We want to pray, our children will be arrow. Hey, my God, the arrow mm. of God. Our children will be arrow. In school, they will be arrow. Everywhere, oh Jesus, that God will make our children mighty arrow. The devil will not be able to apprehend them. Powers of darkness, house of enemy. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, come before you, oh Lord. Come before you, Father God, oh Lord. That the our children will be arrow in the mighty hand. Father, we pray that you. There's a very serious prayer. There are people in the, every family, in every generation that we call, uh, the, let, let, I want to use my own language, genealogy of Atalaya. You know Atalaya? She just yeah. made a prayer the queen. You know what she did? After, mm. you know, why you know that God had to hide that little, uh, little boy? And yeah. it had to be 
and it was the time of Jehovah. Uh, the, mm. the, 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 now, she exterminated. She killed all the royal seed. She killed. Atalaya mm. killed all of them until mm. only one escaped. Every mm. genealogy of Atalaya in our family that want to sure. waste children shall be wasted. Every Amen. genealogy of Atalaya. Everlasting Father God, in the name of Jesus, in heaven we come before you, King of Mercy, this morning we pray. And every sin, every knowledge of the Lord, in my family, in my household, and we will face children. Father, in heaven this morning, arise, we will arise against them all over the place. Father, waste them, O oh Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus, every spirit of our life that wants to waste children, O oh Lord, they will not succeed. In any member of our was doing what Belak was doing that thing was actually demonic highly demonic Belak what Belak was trying to do was to raise an altar again mm. the children please listen carefully mm. speak, the thing many people are going through in their life is just an altar that is speaking uh, you mm. just find it walking on the street all of a sudden he removes his shirt and then all of a sudden it just begins to be all crazy and then you are wondering what's the problem and then not all of them are I smoker, we go smoker. No, some of them are not to do with go smoker. And other mm. is speaking against them. And that author at that time, maybe the other is saying hey, now, wrong mad now, quickly wrong mad now, and become abnormal. And then mm. they just listen to exactly what that author is saying. And author mm. speak. Would you know yeah. why we motion? It is to raise another altar also in the family. Would you know that altar speak? I tell you the truth. Aren't you surprised sometimes? Aren't you surprised that here you are at home? Your children are far away. And then sometimes they will just reveal things to you. Or sometimes it could be that your child will just call you and say, Mommy, would you know that God just delivered me from an accident? Mommy or daddy, would you know something just happened now? It was God. It is the altar. Altar speak. Altar speak. That's why I pity family that don't pray. That's why I pity all when they don't keep doing. No prayer, no pray. And they go to that we want to pray. Every altar of pillar speaking again the destiny of our children today. That altar we can fire. Every altar of pillar. Oh, Jesus, what are they saying? Oh, your children will be wayward. Your children will be weak. Your children will not know good. Your children will not know good. Your children will not make progress. Speaking against my own. Speaking against my own. And I decree that fire be destroyed, the pusa in the name of Jesus. Every altar war against my children, every altar war against my children. In the name of Jesus, I destroy this morning and I command that fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar that is 
I want to show us something. We are, we are not satisfied yet with the way we pray that prayer. In Deuteronomy chapter 7, in verse 4, in verse 4, but I'm actually going to verse 5, but verse 4. Verse 4. For they will turn away thy son from following him. Oh, lady, we turn your son from following him. Oh, guy, no man, no one will turn your child from following God. No woman will turn your son from following God. And then even your daughter will not be turned from following him. It's not the way thy son from following me, that they may serve all that God. That will be not be and destroy oh, yeah. them. Oh, yeah. All shall ye deal with them. Amen. 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 Amen.